Welcome back to this week's Fastest Minute in Construction. I'm Nate Beck, Daily Reporter Staff Writer. Let's dig into the news. Wisconsin regulators this week fined a contractor who caused an explosion in Sun Prairie that killed a firefighter last year. Wisconsin Public Service Commission found VC Tech, a firm hired by Kansas-based Bear Communications, likely didn't check for underground utilities before striking a natural gas line, causing the blast. The commission voted unanimously to fine the company $25,000. It's the first such penalty the Public Service Commission has given out under a newly passed law that allows it to go after those that don't call the diggers hotline before excavating. But the fallout isn't over for VC Tech. The company and Bear Communications were fined by OSHA earlier this year, and a number of lawsuits accused the contractors of wrongdoing. Governor Tony Evers this week signed a bill that paves the way for an alternative to public bidding on highway projects. The law creates a pilot program to test design build, which differs from the standard design bid build process used almost exclusively on Wisconsin road projects. The program lets contractors have oversight over a project's designs. Proponents say that could lead to greater, greater cost savings by catching design flaws earlier. But critics of the program say design build favors big contractors who have in-house design teams. Craig Thompson, Governor Evers' pick to lead the Wisconsin Department of Transportation, earned the endorsement of a committee this week, setting up a confirmation fight before the full state Senate. The Senate's Transportation Committee unanimously recommended Thompson to lead WSDOT permanently on Thursday, after Evers named him to the post in December. Some Republicans, however, have criticized Thompson for his prior job leading the Transportation Development Association, a lobbying group. The Senate isn't likely to consider any of Evers' cabinet's appointments until October. That's it for this week's punch list. We'll see you next week.